as you can see right here this is gonna be my second attempt this was my first and I think that I'm gonna have to do some recovery over here I honestly don't like the distance between these points over here I need to put some kind of isolating material I am afraid that if this get hot as I am transferring power that I may short circuit the battery right here but beside that I am pretty happy with this one this battery right now is at 17 volts because it is a 4 cell everything is clearly easy to view you can see everything right through the, through the tape I plan to use some shrink wrap before I finish this product and uh, if you look carefully you can see that I use ground strap of what is used automotively because uh, automotive materials are designed to be corrosive resistance keeping in mind that the amount of current that is going to be transferred through these cells is so high I am trying to reduce the amount of temperature due to the amount of current that is going to be drawn through this thing my first step was to put Teflon tape I believe this can be easily seen over here this Teflon tape is very strong and it can handle tons of temperature it's extremely expensive tape so here we go what you are about to see will be the time lapse of this entire assembly here I have uh, two batteries what I call donor batteries this one was one of the ones that die and becomes totally useless I am about to remove the charging lead the one that gives information to the computer according to the level and power that is in each cell and uh, also it have a really nice pair of leads with an XT60 wire Finally, here we have two custom made finish lithium ion batteries. This one has three cells per cell, and uh, according to what Panasonic says in their data sheet, says that. Each one of these batteries, each one of these cells is capable to sustain 20 amps for a very long time. I imagine four or five minutes, which means that I have 20, 40, 60, and I don't have no plans to use that much. And in the case of the largest battery that I have, I have four ply, 
which you will be something about around in the neighborhood of the 80 amps current nowhere near of what I need probably maybe for the largest plane that I have maybe around uh, 30 amps so I feel comfortable that these batteries are going to last me way longer than the the balloon lithium polymer batteries this is the last video at this point the only thing that is left is to have a flight test so thank you very much for watching my video if you find this video entertaining educational or otherwise you actually like it please give us a thumbs up and if you want to please subscribe thank you very much for watching